Guys, it's been two years since I made a video about this ATI Bulldog Bullpup style shotgun. My video actually got pretty popular, surprisingly. Uh, and uh, if you've never seen this video, make sure to check it out the link on the top and I'm gonna post one in the description. But today we finally, after two years, I'm shooting this gun. And today what we're going to do, we're just gonna shoot this thing, see what ammo it can take, what it cannot. I'm pretty sure they all go through just fine. You see all the ammo that we're shooting today. So let's get and get right to it. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna shoot five rounds of each ammo that I brought today. And the first one, we're gonna start with the Remington Game Load. It's a 1290 uh, velocity. So let's go ahead and check. It actually will go through with no problem. No problem at all. As you see, uh, it locked the magazine with no problem. By the way, as you notice, I'm using actually this 10 round magazine that I purchased. And you will find this magazine also in my video. I already uh, shot actually this gun a couple of times and I had no problem with feeding at all. Let's go ahead and take um, another ammo loaded five more rounds. All right, so this is also a Remington and it's actually the 1255 velocity um, and it's by the way, seven and a half shots. So let's go check this out if it's actually going to work. Also, as you saw, the magazine locked with no problem at all. Let's get to another five more shots. Now, this is also Remington 1200 velocity, and this is nine shots. So let's see if actually 1200 rounds is actually going to cycle or not. No problem at all. Federal game load, 1290 FPS. And for the heck of it, let's just do 10 shots. All right, no problem at all. Aguila, 1250 FPS, eight shots. Very popular, cheap ammo, Estate, 1290 FPS, nine shots or eight, eight, eight shots, whatever. It should work with no problem, let's see. This is NSI with a 1200 FPS. This is actually, says on the box that it's a low recoil ammo. And I actually had this box for like four years, I just never ended up shooting. So let's see if it's gonna work and actually how it's going to feel since it's a low recoil. So I don't know, we'll check this out real quick. Oh yeah, I can definitely tell you have a slight less recoil. And as you see, everything works just fine. Like the magazine, like the, uh, perfect. I mean, absolutely no problem at all. Another cheap load, Monarch. 1200 FPS, it actually doesn't say that it's low recoil. Well, we'll see how that's going to work. Also, another cheap round, probably going to stink. Yeah, perfect, works perfect. So far, it feeds everything. By the way, let's go ahead and then take care of this right here. This is a double O Bach. I'm not quite sure what it's made by, but I had this in there for a while. It's gonna be expensive shoots. Oh, we had a feeding problem right here. Look at that. And this is actually double O Bach. I'll post uh, the name right here in the video so you will know what it's made by. It probably got dirty since I've been shooting so much without no cleaning.
we're gonna put same round back in the magazine and see if it's gonna cycle again. Could be a problem with that particular shell. That's only what I can say. I wish I had more ammo of that. I would play test a little more. Uh, maybe a magazine could be an issue too, but, but this is original magazine as you know. Winchester double O buck with a 1325 velocity. It's gonna hurt. Wow. One more time. Yeah, it hurt a little, but as you see, <laughs> all of them went right through, but obviously the more velocity, uh, the more recoil, it's just, it should feed with no problem at all, obviously. I have uh, actually more Remington out there, also double a buck. Let's just throw them down the range. All right, I load this magazine with actually two different kind. They're both Remington, but I have five uh, double outpack, low recoil with 1200 FPS and the regular 13, 1325. The first one that I actually feed is gonna go with the 1325. So let's see if it works. So five rounds of that and five more rounds of low recoil. Yeah, no problem at all. And by the way, it was very good recoil. Like I it was really low recoil. I didn't even feel anything. Guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if you've never seen this sample in the sample of this particular firearm, please check the link down below. And as always, thank you for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, here's a little bonus content for you guys so when i got home i took it apart start to look in for like any damages or anything like that but before actually i'm gonna go any further let's go and take a look if it's unloaded it's obviously it is unloaded nothing in the chamber the gun is full unloaded let me go and release the trigger but the first thing i noticed that these sites right here are totally failed and it's probably my fault I never put Loctite in there, so make sure you do not miss the step if you're planning to use original um, sights. And the biggest problem with this particular shotgun is uh, the feeder ramp. Now, you probably already noticed I removed the cheek riser right here. Uh, how to do this, you can simply just watch my disassemble video. Super easy to take this whole thing apart. Let me go and take this thing apart and show it to you what's going on with the feeding ramp I'm a little bit disappointed with that because I only shot around 150 rounds since I own the shotgun so it's actually not a lot um, at all but the feeding ramp right here has actually got damaged a little bit and scraped by the casing uh, I actually took some chunks off and you can see right now the closer shot of that location uh, it's fixable um i'm just simply going to file this off and um, just probably polish and buff out the entire feed ramp uh it seems like this feed ramp made out of like aluminum i'm not quite sure but definitely if it's steel it's really soft type of steel uh the the edge of the feed ramp uh, was actually really thin so probably that's why i just took all these chunks of it and basically what happens the the casing of 12 gauge right here is really sharp and it just slowly was grinding and grinding grinding this uh, feeder ram and right now it's actually catching on the feeder ram i can definitely feel so if you have some sort of uh, issues with the feeding uh probably need to check this area first other than that everything works just fine i also noticed the shroud right here at the front became loose a little bit but this is really not a big deal but overall 
it's a very reliable shotgun as you saw on the video it freaking fits everything besides one of the casing that i had probably just the issue with the entire um one round overall the, the plastic got um, a little bit smooshed on one of um the the round and probably it's related to one uh, of this issue with the fetal ram overall it's really smooth guys